Hey everybody, so it's technically back to school next week. Um, for those people who go to school, obviously. Um, so we home ed, so we don't really do back to school um, because we in this household believe that learning is life and we go with the ebb and flow. So we kind of um, do schoolish things all year round when it takes us, take holidays when it takes us, rest days when we need them. Um, you know, we literally follow those like ebbs and flows and go with what works best for our neurodiverse brains. <laughs> um, but I still like to mark the back to school kind of time because it's just like, uh, you know, it's just basically like a rite of passage. Hello, sweetie. So I always try and do the photo, you know, the um, obligatory <laughs> standing in front of the house, <laughs> not in school uniform. Um, you know, see, you know, you see loads of um, photos pop up on social media don't you of them kids wearing um, school uniform in front of the in front of the house so I try and do that if possible I try and get them to hold up a sign that says like what technically what year they are in at school not that we follow that um, at all because you know for some subjects they punch above their weight for other subjects very much not <laughs> Um, so yeah, we don't really stick to like, in terms of like what learning we do, we don't stick to like what they should be doing. We just do what works for our, our family, um, and for the children, particularly, um, depending on what sort of day they're having, whether it's a day of intense regulation work from me or whether it's a day that they really want to um do stuff you know so yeah we just go with the ebb and flow of life um i do try and stick in some ways to like academic years um in terms of like recording what we've done um just just so if at any time anything in the future was to change and we or they decided that school was going to be the option that um you know in theory they could sort of slot back in that's the theory but then as i say um some subjects are way way in advance of their school years and other subjects they're way behind in um so they wouldn't necessarily slot straight into their year but it's just nice to kind of keep a tabs and um and know what year they would be in <laughs> so yeah i keep a folder and of things that we've done and i always put like a type it up on computer like a little header that says their name and the academic year and what year group they would be in and I do that every year and then behind that um I then I print out throughout the year on on the computer on, on my phone because I use google docs so it's on my phone it's easy I can access it on the computer I then keep a log of like all the workshops we've been to the days outs we've been to um museum visits and holidays anything like that I keep a list of all of those and so I print all that out um I also write up like um what groups we go to regularly and like online classes I kind of write that down as well so we've got got that in the folder and then I just save leaflets from as many places as we've visited as possible they all go in any of like the paperwork from a workshop or anything that always um goes in any certificates they've earned that goes in um and then i just have a little bit of a section for some of their work not all of their work but some of their paperwork that's like 
exceptional or outstanding. Um, so, for example, this year, my youngest, she has just moved from just drawing faces to drawing faces with bodies. You know, so I'll save that and I'll write then her name on it and the date um, that she completed that. So, yeah, I just have like a work to be proud of kind of section with like some of the stuff that's like like awesome and I want to like keep in there I call it like yeah portfolio kind of thing um so yeah but this week we're looking at back to school week so this is what I've got so I also print out some of um some other things and these are things that I um designed and yeah, I just they're just in my Etsy shop if you want some as well. But um, it's just one big PDF and you can just choose what you want. You know, um, I do an all about me um, and I just get them to like draw a picture of themselves and just sort of things like I am this age. My favourite food is this. My favourite colour is this. My favourite TV programme is this. Just as kind of like a memory keeping thing so that we can see in the future. I thought I mean, it might be nice of... Um, who they were at that point and what they're into. Um, yeah, as I said, there's like loads of different things and I just kind of um, print out when the things I need, when I need it. So I've got a couple of other sheets um, and this one just says like things um, this year I'm looking forward to, this year I would like to try and this year I would like to improve. Um, so I will probably do the writing for both of the children, um, but I will ask them and they will, they will tell me, um, cause I think it's really nice to know what they want to do. It's their, it's their life, their journey. You know, we are child led in terms of like the subjects that we study because I'm a, we're a firm believer of if they're into something, then they will you know they will enjoy it therefore they'll want to do it and they'll go deep with it um so yeah it's nice to know what they're into um and I've, and so also got um this year i'd like to learn about and other things i'd like to do and places i'd like to visit just so that i can like you know i can start to plan and i can incorporate it um but equally at the end of the year we also evaluate the year so the things that they enjoyed this year places they enjoyed going that kind of thing um so yes, yeah, so I've got those sheets ready to print out for this week. Um, and I've also got them a couple of presents. Um, so yeah, if they were going back to school, they would have had like new rucksacks, probably lunch boxes, shoes, uniform, pens, pencil cases, all that kind of thing. Um, so yay for saving money on that stuff. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd, this year, I haven't done it before giving them presents, but this year I wanted to kind of like mark the occasion a little bit more. I mean, it's not elaborate. So I bought both of these things secondhand off of Vinted. Um, so I literally have spent like four quid on them. So not, not a lot. We're well into second hand. The kids are well into second hand. We don't care. A present is a present. So this year we're going to be doing more game schooling. We've de I've decided because both of my kids absolutely love playing board games. And, you know, like my eldest loves playing Scrabble. <laughs> um, hates writing with a passion. Loves playing Scrabble. So I'm going to take that and run with it. Does not like doing spellings or anything like that. Loves playing Scrabble, which is spellings don't tell her that <laughs> so yeah um we've decided this year to go like way more down the game schooling um game schooling route so both of the games that i got i got on recommendations from other people so i got catowl <laughs> um on the spot mental calculation so i have bought these for both of them because at some point in the future both of them will use it like um i think this is probably way beyond my youngest at the moment i don't know i haven't played it yet um so i need to i need to work out the rules so i need to ask my friend because <laughs> she has this game um yeah but it came came highly recommended cat 
cat owl <laughs> cat owl so yeah it came um it came highly recommended so that's the first one and then the second one which again came recommended by a different friend actually is this one mathable um so yeah again <laughs> maths um is not at all my strong point but this for us looks pretty good because it's got like the same sort of look to it as a scrapple board <laughs> you know it's got the tiles and like the board so it looks a bit like scrabble so <laughs> yeah i'm hoping that both of those um aren't too complicated but also i know that we have got friends who have these games or know these games um so will be able to teach me so maths is not my strong point okay i do not like maths. I'd go as far as saying I have, which I can't even say, dyscalculia. <laughs> dyscalculia. It's a bit like that. Anyway, um, I failed my maths GCSE four times. <laughs> my parents paid for a private tutor for me. No, still failed. Still failed miserably. But I still went to university <laughs> and got a degree and studied for a postgraduate got a really good job run, run my own business you know so that's you know maths is it's nice to know some maths to get by in life but it's not the be all and end all so maths in our house is usually done by the husband <laughs> usually done by my husband their dad and via apps um they both have apps on their ipad that they do maths with um but this year my daughter really wanted to do an online maths class so we are trying that for um the first time this year as well but um i also wanted to get involved in some of the maths because i i want to learn alongside the kids to be honest because <laughs> my math skills are shocking absolutely shocking as i say i i i feel like i probably do have this calc yeah i'll try and find it for you so you know what i'm going on about but um yeah and that has that has been the case ever since i was a i was a i was a, a child i've always been a reader a writer a drawer <laughs> i was reading chapter books see this is how you can tell like i'm on the spectrum um i was <laughs> well saying that no scratch that reverse because being on the spectrum is different from everybody um it's different for everybody and everybody has a different life with it i don't know different skills and strengths and weaknesses so yes i'm autistic and i have adhd but maths is not my strong point um however other autistic people maths is their thing but for me i was um reading chapter books from a very early age i could read write spell before i went to um before i started school as a wee nipper um <laughs> and yeah i always used to excel at english i got a star <laughs> um when i did my gcse's i got a star i got a's for english um yeah so i'm looking forward looking forward to the new year we're starting off the week with two trips which is amazing one is a workshop and one is a fun trip um so i can't wait for those we don't really have much booked this year like trips by workshops because there doesn't seem to be anyone organizing anything so maybe i'll have to see if i can organize something but yeah we're we're looking forward well i'm looking forward to what the rest of the year holds but yeah i just thought i would do like a little a little vlog just about starting back again not that we've really finished as i said because like learning is life life is learning um you know and we've just we you know this is the thing like when you look at school um they you know they do pe well yeah we do pe all the time because you know out and about they're on their bikes or they're running around whatever um art and craft they do that don't they at school we do that like all the time like most days baking and cooking we do that pretty much every day um and like we've got an allotment and like at school it's like particularly in reception like infants junior school kind of ages they tend to have like a little garden at schools they do forest school which we do so you know just living life we already have quite a lot of school covered so yeah there we go